1984, we had a divestment campaign on our campus against South African apartheid, which was a successful campaign, but it was also very, it was a, a really large scale movement that um, c combined with like several groups on campus. <laughs> The 1960s free speech movement set a standard of political protest for university students. Several more protest campaigns have followed afterwards, but one issue in particular has proven to be a major concern for students over the years, and that is the issue of divestment. Each year, the University of California is given an endowment for a certain amount of money. In order to grow this, the UC Regents invest the money in financial institutions, such as Morgan Stanley, which then takes the money and puts it in other companies. Some of these companies, however, have been known for their unethical business practices, such as manufacturing firm Caterpillar, accused of supplying the Israeli conflict against Palestinians, and oil giant PetroChina, once a major funder of Sudanese terror and genocide in Darfur. Divestment campaigns are organized to convince administrators to stop investing in such companies. Groups like if um, there were any student group on campus that were attempting to, like, the, like to, to have a divestment campaign, there would definitely have to be some sort of a coalition. In 1984, when there was a divestment campaign against like South African apartheid, it was, it, it was enormous co student coalition that was working towards these goals. And I think that if our campus saw a divestment campaign, it would have to be like through a, a big coalition of students just because, you know, obviously that would be more inclusive of the entire student body, more like, you know, educational and also just more powerful. So a lot of times students don't really think that it's directly like affecting them and these types of issues are actually, you know, really directly connected to us as U.S. citizens. You know, we are taxpayers, that is our tax money. And second, we're students, and this is our student money then that is also given to companies that directly invest in the occupation as well. So that's a, you know, that's twice that we're responsible for these types of issues. But in order to become more responsible, we need to understand where the university is investing their Although money. Although we can access these types of documents via, like, Different channels, not exactly, they're not exactly like very accessible to students, but um, once we do obtain these types of documents, it's really hard to understand where this money like that students are giving to the university is being placed. In fact, students have very little ability to see exactly where their money and where Berkeley's endowment money is currently going. According to the UC's Sustainability Report, a campus's graded evaluation based on social responsibility issues, Berkeley received A's in nearly every category except responsible investments. Cal was given a D in terms of endowment transparency, a B in investment priorities, and a failing F in terms of shareholder engagement. So would students support um, giving funding to a company, giving their money to a, the university, which then gives it to a company like Morgan Stanley, which then sells um, weapons and arms to an occupying um, power such as Israel. Any new divestment campaigns will certainly face its fair share of problems. There is, however, a solution echoed by all sectors, whether they be ASUC, SJP, or the sustainability team, and that is to get informed and get involved. From CalTV, this is Rena Flores, and I'll see you next time.